Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and when it comes to living in the Lone Star State, there's no place like home. Big homes, small homes, homes in trees, and homes down by the shore with a breeze. We've seen all sorts of places to call Casa while traversing the Lone Star State, but there's one dwelling I've always wanted to see the inside of, and it's on this side of the road in Italy. When you hear Italy, you think of master artists and architecture, buildings like the Colosseum, St. Peter's Basilica, and the Pantheon. But if you add taxes to the end of that Italy, things are a little bit different. I'm sure you guys get a lot of people that pull over and say, what's going on over here? That's right, we do. How often does that happen? Practically every day. Gary Clark is a big believer in domed structures because he's the general sales manager at Monolithic the company that believes there's no place like Dome. Domes have been constructed 400 years. One of the main reasons is they're so immensely strong. Founded in Idaho, Monolithic moved to California in the 80s and then set their sights on Texas in 1989. Texas is really good for construction friendly and quite frankly, the people are really super friendly here too. When the folks of Italy found out you guys were gonna be here, were they excited, nervous? Nervous. Nervous? Strange people coming here originally from Idaho, coming from California, building strange buildings. Who are these people? <laughs> Over the decades, domed homes started popping up, creating a unique scene on the side of I-35. The only other place I've ever seen this is Tatooine. Yeah, that's right. They never asked me to come build Tatooine. I've never been there. I hear it's out of this world. Yeah, it's somewhere in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, that's what I heard. The heavy concentration of curious buildings brings in all sorts of silly questions and people who take this method of making homes the wrong way. Uh, we've had times where we've had uh, people actually show up here and come in and under their breath say, how do we join? Because <laughs> that's the first thing you think is when you see a bunch of places like this, like, oh, that must be some kind of uh, yeah. village. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've often told people, you know, you see a bunch of standard homes built together, it's a housing development. If you put a bunch of domes together, it's a compound. <laughs> yeah. Just want to make sure everybody can get in and out of here out of their free will. Well, yeah, yeah, that's right, they yep. can. Okay, yeah, we're they good. Can. <laughs> they can. The company was started by David South, and he has the patent to prove it. David still works and lives here in the domes. This is David's home. So David's personal home. Uh -huh. As you can see, it's actually two domes that are connected with some standard construction. Okay. Yeah, so let's go on and see how things are going inside. Yeah. Dave, we're here. Wow, it's big. Two, yeah, it a two-dome house. Two-dome home, yep. And this one over here, I call the living dome. And this one over here, I call the sleeping dome. For open concept, it's great because you got your kitchen, your living room, your one room. I mean, that's how you normally see homes nowadays. And bonus laundry room, bathroom, pantry. Mm -hmm. Guest room, you got it all. In one dome. In one dome, right here. Now the dome structure that sticks out and got us to stop by is the Colossal Caterpillar. That's been a curiosity to me since it was built back in 1995. The way we construct our domes involves an air form, what most people call a balloon. And the one for Bruco was uh, 250 foot long by about 25 foot high. Bruco? Bruco. We name him Bruco because we live in Italy, Texas, and he's a caterpillar, and Bruco is the Italian word for caterpillar. Wow, wow. It's as long as a massive caterpillar. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Welcome to Bruco. 250 foot long, 60 foot wide at the widest point, and 24 foot high. This almost feels like either A, a secret base, B, a hockey ring arena, or C, just a really fun place to throw things a far distance. That's true, that's true. This is where we assemble the air forms that we use for making the domes. Okay, so this is where you build the big bubbles. The big bubbles, the yeah. Big bubbles. This is where we, the things that we inflate. Every building built by Monolithic starts in this building as a giant inflatable. Everything from uh, fertilizer storage to high schools to businesses, churches, homes. Right here in Italy, Texas, we have a dome gymnasium here in Italy, Texas. I imagine you guys have a lot of naysayers. We have people that uh, like things to be the way that they've always have been, but that's all right. It takes variety to make this world go around. While art and architecture can be subjective, the science of these structures isn't. 
It's a design that's proven it can stand the test of time. The Pantheon is a 140 foot diameter. And it's been there for hundreds of years. And it's still there. And it's still there, it's still in use today. So if being dome on the range is more your style, a stop at Monolithic to see the dome structures of Italy, Texas is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. What we really are excited about is when they come here, they learn about why we're doing what we're doing. And as we share our ideas and the technology that we have, all of a sudden, it's not as crazy as they think.